yes, you should be using non-marring tools for this. But I think scratching the paint is the least of my personal concerns on this project. Look out, that's a good sign that, that there is water ingress that could be an issue. Okay, so make sure you go at it with a T30 or else you will screw yourself, much like I potentially did. <laughs> Sheared. I think it was rusted in there. You never know what you're going into. Alright, make sure these are all out. It's just being obstinate today. Alright, so looks like that should be a pivot point. Yep, that could have gotten more expensive. Alright, so now we plug in a new assembly. Good. That is latched, it won't come out. We're going to test, see if we can charge. All right. Come on, beep. There we go. All right, success. So that was, in fact, what was keeping that from initiating the charging and tripping it basically tripping the breaker, so awesome. We're going to rip it out. And attach, finish the project. All right, so go ahead. Get that stuck in there. That's there. So we're going to back off very much. Interesting why they have the tracks when it seems like the assembly is such that there's really nowhere for it to move. That's interesting. Calibrated Ugga Dugga. That's still not super 
tight, which is fine. It still spins pretty easily. That seems about right. All right. I know, not torque specs, and feel free to uh, express your correct opinion that I should be looking up the torque spec on that, and I should be torquing that to exacting specifications, and yada, yada, yada. Uh, you're, not, you're not wrong. Oh, that's going to be entertaining. Okay, it does go through. So... Kind of a Rube Goldberg as far, well, chicken and the egg kind of problem. What goes in first? Pop that in there. Seems like it does kind of just seat easily once it's there. And then you just pop the trim panel. Yeah, I think that spider's had enough time in there. There we go. Yep. Success.